You start. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot. That's okay. <laughs> Me start. You start. This was your idea. No, it was your idea. No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that was no. So not my no, idea. No. Okay. So. Hmm. It's so not so my idea. So it was no. Yeah. When we were at. Uh, you got lipstick on your cheek. It was so uh, not my idea. When we were at Stitches. You've been drinking too much. No. It was your idea. No. When we were at Stitches a year ago. You said, you know, we could do a podcast. You did. I must have been oh, drinking heavily. Of course we were. We were at Stitches. Anyway, I'm Joan Yu. I'm Jeanette. <laughs> and I'm looking at myself. That's yeah. not good. Can we start over? <laughs> no. <laughs> we're supposed to be okay, natural. we're depending on our editor. Yes, there we go. Okay. No, we don't need it. This is all going to be good. Okay. Anyway. Okay. okay. We're in Monterey. <laughs> and we're, wait, it's backwards to us, but... Knit one, sip two, which means we're knitting and we're <laughs> sipping. <laughs> cheers to the first podcast. Cheers, cheers. cheers. So, and we're sipping uh, Bloody Marys, Trader Joe's uh, Bloody Mary mix with Tito's vodka. And so if we didn't say, I'm Jeanette. And I'm Joan. And we've been friends for a long time. So we decided oh to do this podcast. I don't know. She says it was my idea. I think it was her idea. I think she wrote me into it. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure that the world needs more knitting podcasts, but we thought it would be a great way to meet people from around the world, around the United States, hopefully, mm -hmm. and just share what we love to do. It's so, yes. um, I should also say that all are welcome in this podcast, in this audience. We mm -hmm. welcome anyone. So, mm -hmm. yep. the more the merrier. And it's a good incentive for me to knit faster. There you go. Well, you already knit fast. I'm I'm slow, but no. You know what? My first, not whip, um, finished object. Fo. This is the fastest I've ever knit a sweater because I wanted to get it done for this. It, oh, it was it was good like incentive. yeah. I think it was like, like a, a month and a half. So yeah. okay, so, so we should start. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna excuse me while I look at my notes because okay. you look at your notes. Uh, I've never done this before. No, it's okay. Um, you said what we're drinking. Okay, so what are you wearing? Okay, so I'm wearing the Hannah Fettig, um, wait, I can remember this, Allison Cardigan. Um, just finished it. I made it with um, Anzula's For Better or Worsted. This is all I have left. Um, and it was like a one-of-a-kind uh, color. It, it was actually a, an oopsie. So they only made, um, I think they only did nine skeins. I bought eight. And I went into a little bit, um, no, actually I used seven skeins. Yeah, and I think like a little bit of one more. I, I My um, Ravelry page has all the details. But anyway, so it's a bottom or top down. So this is my first top down. And the coolest thing about this was that I finally got to use one of the tips that I learned from, oh, it's got pockets that are, here you should, the lining's different. What Your should celery's in the way. Here. Cel <laughs> Celery's in the 
Um, take anyway, the drinks. So the <laughs> yeah, you're in charge of drinks. Um, so it's got a different color pocket, which I really liked. And then I got to use one of the tips that I learned at Stitches all those years ago. Here, I'll put it over here. <laughs> not too far away um which so a lot of times when you're doing the um you're picking up stitches for the band what happens is is this little thing here this bit ends up swooping down and you get this really weird swoop well i learned that if you use a piece of waste yarn and you just make a slip knot and you cast or not cast but pick up one stitch into that waste yarn and then your other stitches as normal, and then you just knit like this waist yarn as part of the garment, oh. it ends up eliminating that swoop. And then all you need to do, sorry, I need my glasses, is pull that waist yarn out after you've done your, after you've finished your tab, and of course, I didn't think to pre-stage a needle. But it basically eliminates that swoop. Oh god, scissors. We're gonna cheat. So so, so you're saying... the other side. Hmm. And it just eliminates... I mean, isn't that weird? Like you would think, how in the world does that work? But it does. Hmm. So I'm just gonna snip that. And then it looks like a straight across. And then it just goes straight across. And I did it on the side. That's the side, actually, that I ended on. This is the side that I started on. This I didn't do such a good job of blocking. Well, I'm impressed but... that you remembered that tip. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> I was impressed. I remembered the tip, and I was impressed I could find the notes from, from how to yeah, do that's it. A that's a... That, that was the biggest thing. Yeah. I knew there was a tip. I just didn't know how to do it yeah, until that's I found awesome. it. So anyway. So yeah, so Hannah Fettig, um, Anzula, for better or worse, did. And anything so. you would do differently or no? No, I'm thrilled. Oh, good. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so That's happy with it. That's the best FO. Yeah, that, it, just awesome. Just That's the absolutely. best FO there is. Yes, it's got, it fits great. It doesn't come off my shoulders. It, everything. It's, yeah, fabulous. Your turn. Um, what, what I'm wearing is my probably latest FO. It's the BB sweater by, let's see, I have to look up my notes, Megan Kelly. And I'll, I'll stand up a little bit and oh, show nice it. One. It's just sort of a boxy sort of, um, kind of a broken rib stitch here and here. Um, it's made out of fiber company, Erin Moore Light. I didn't like knitting this at all. I, I don't know why. I think oh. it was the, um... I think it was the needle yarn combination. The yarn is very dry, for lack of a better, hmm. um, almost like, what was that old yarn? Rowan Summer Tweed that that used to be really dry. Oh, it's dry. It had a lot of, but it didn't have stuff in it. Was it crunchy? A, it's, it's not as crunchy as that, but it's a little dry and crunchy, and mm -hmm. I just didn't like my needle yarn combination. And I think I knit the whole back and then switch to different needles but size four needles um but wearing it i love it it's so comfy and cozy i mean the worst thing about it is it wrinkles and then the wrinkles mm. don't necessarily come out mm. i've worn it a few times but but i love this sweater it's been mm. really i would definitely knit another not uh, maybe a different yarn um our local yarn store has knitted it also in a shibui combination that would be great mm -mm. so i loved knitting this and it's been a really fun fo very warm and cozy and mm -hmm. that's great because i'm mostly cold even though we said we live in monterey california so we're in a very temperate climate but i'm i'm cold all the time well so. it's yeah like it was like 90 degrees at my house yesterday and then you drove into town and it was 60 so you never know mm. right? i'm also wearing socks oh let's see <laughs> i can do this i don't know <laughs> i don't know maybe that's bad um <laughs> no. they're uh i have those shoes <laughs> uh there we go they're <laughs> <laughs> they're Oh gosh! Well, look at the good job she did on the heel. I don't think my foot goes that direction. <laughs> um, they're uh, like Tulsi you. socks. <laughs> Tulsi is the pattern, and mm -hmm. the um, the person who did that pattern was Verena Coors. They're knit on mm -hmm. a size one needle. 
um, with Seawall Fibers Court Sock. So, um, yeah, they were fun to knit. I, really cute. I, I'm still wearing all my hand-knit socks pretty much almost every day, depending on the mm -hmm. weather. But, um, yeah, love them. So that's, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm wearing. And then we kind of segued into FOs at the same time. So that's cool. Yeah. Any any other FOs uh -huh. you want to share? Yep, yep. So, best decision I ever made was to try making a sock. Because, you know, like, I've tried knitting God knows how many socks. Not my forte. Um, so, but Macy, my middle daughter, wanted some thick, like, slipper socks. So, I got this yarn from Stitches. What is it? It's, um... Uh, ba 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 ba. These are the ah, Webb's Valley yarns, uh, wool and acrylic microfiber, and they're so nice and soft. And oh my gosh, it was so much easier knitting a sock that was out of like thicker wool, mm. thicker fabric. Yeah, that's a good way to start. It was like okay, now I understand I mean, the not construction that's your and first stuff. Sock, but no, but I can understand. Huh? I'm looking at. No, you said those were they're for your daughter, right? right? Yeah, yeah. So. Easy peasy. Fun. So this was nice. And this was the Elementary Slipper Sock by Courtney Kane. So I definitely think I'm going to have another pair of these in, in her future or my future. So that was nice. I did have another FO, but I didn't. I forgot it. It's mm -hmm. And it's kind of a half FO. What do they call that? A hoe? <laughs> um, it's a Puntia sweater by Hohe mm. Locatelli. But I don't like the neckline and the... I've worn it several times, but I, I want to go back and fix the neckline and the bottom of the sweater. So I'll do that, and I'll have it for the next podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, commitment. That scares me. Yeah, yeah. I'll have it for the next podcast. Well, we'll see really, how I we will. like this Really, podcast. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then my last FO um, is the Menta and Liquir. How do you pronounce that? Oh, that's what you mean. Liquirz. Liquirzia. Liquirzia. Mm -hmm. Not that great. One shawl by Francesca Loza so okay love the yarn it's plucky bellow oh my gosh so nice so soft and I am incredibly um sensitive when it comes to yarn like I can't have anything that's itchy I can't wear angora it scratches it's too itchy for me this stuff's amazing um so the um bellow is merino and cashmere love the yarn I'm not I'm still trying to figure out how to wear the shape because it it kind of came out more I don't know like half circle -y with this like little nipple thing here <laughs> so it kind that of in the show notes? yeah <laughs> it kind of I don't know I'm not in love with the shape I'm in I I love the colors I love the fabric I'm not that's the in back love. side right I think you got it oh I think you're right not in love with the um with the shape, but is it just not for you? Yeah, I mean, I think I mean the weird thing is is that I don't think I messed up, but I was looking at the pattern today when I was doing show notes, and this whole bump here blends into hers more. Mm. So maybe my tension changed or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I cannot tell you how much I love the fabric. Like I'm totally yeah, super knitting with. Bellow again, um, but it's just it's I don't More know. I kind of to wear. yeah. I kind of it like there's this whole part over here where it's a a yarn over, um, yarn over and it two together here, and it kind of makes this little gathering thing where I feel like it's I feel like it, like it ends up looking a little grandma ish. So mm. I don't know, but I'm very well, critical about. Well, and I think it's how you style it too, yeah. right? How yeah, what you wear to, it with. Yes. So, anyway, I'm, I, you know what, worst comes to worst, it's a nice night shawl because I'm always chilly at night. So, yeah. anyway, so that's my, my other FO. I don't think I have any other FOs. I think everything else I have is. Yeah, me neither. I'm, I'm a slow knitter. Yes. Jones a fast knitter. I'm a slow knitter. Plus, I have a full-time job. Yeah, Jones, but I have kids. You have kids. <laughs> I mean, she yeah. has kids, but my kids are home. My kids are old. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're not old. They're just. They don't need, they're out of the gone. house. They're gone. They don't they're need, far. They yes. don't need. 24-7 yeah. care and, always, and meals. Yeah. And mine are, I'm driving them to and from dance. Yeah. Oh, which is my, I'm, that's a nice segue into my. Into whips? Into Go. a whip. So, okay, so 
I have three girls, Lucy, you said, Lucy, who's away at college, um, Macy, who just turned 18. Just turned 18. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? And Cecilia, who's going to be 14 soon. <gasps> I know. The baby's going to be 14. Ooh, gonna be 14. That's rough. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, Macy and Cecilia are both dancers. So I decided that, um, actually, Cecilia asked for leg warmers. I love that color. So, isn't that great? Yeah, that ballet pink. So, um. Kind of grungy pink almost. And, yeah, and she likes it, which is even more important. No, it's just like so, broken, wait, what's the? It's a, so it's, um, like, it's my own design. Um, yes, oh, it's like a broken awesome. ribbon, a broken ribbing, I think they call it. Mm -hmm. Um, like, so yeah. Like this. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. So, so they can see it. And I'm trying all to. the three people who yeah, are going right? to watch this podcast. <laughs> well, our, well, let's see. Each of our husbands will have to be in. Well, he has um, to watch it because he's editing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, so it's just kind of an experiment, and then maybe like it'll be my first pattern that I put on Ravelry. Um, but basically, I'm making this out of Yoth Father, Father, which I was excited to get to finally use because I've seen it. We've seen it at stitches like all the time. And Anne and carries I, it. Does Anne carry it now? She carries you off, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Anyway, so I kept seeing it at stitches, and, it, you know, feeling it in the hank, I think it's because the hank is rolled so tightly, it kind of didn't, it you know, felt tr crunchy. That's a little pet peeve of mine, that yeah. tight, tightly rolled skeins or hanks, and yeah. then you can't really get a good feeling for how soft the yarn is. or Right. How, yeah. Right. So anyway, so I... Just after we walked around stitches for God knows how long, I was like, you know what? Let me take the opportunity to try a new yarn. So tried it, loved it. Cecilia loves it. That's even more important. She's like, oh, that's it's so really pretty. pretty. And it's nice. And it's soft. I'm really surprised. I didn't realize this is 100% domestic yarn. Nice. nice. I did not know that. I like so, that And happens. it's Rambouillet. So, yeah. So I'm nice. Yeah. So anyway, so, and I'm doing two at the same time because I learned from Macy's socks that I did separately that really doing socks both at the same time is more the way to go. Otherwise they come out. Oh, that's my favorite. Socks. I can't, I do not like doing socks separately. Yeah. In fact, we're in whips, right? I think yeah, yeah. I lost track. Yeah. Go right ahead. Um, so I can, nice that segue. can segue nice into segue. my sock whip, segue, segue. which is in you segue, I bag. Mm -hmm. Um, in my homemade bag, mm, love your homemade um, bag. I just I like the fabric, and so homemade bag. Um, this is the vanilla is the new black sock, which I think everyone in the world who makes who knits socks is doing. But um, so these are socks for my daughter who lives in Denver, and this is Gage Dye Works White Lights colorway. Oh, wow. You come along with And those that. are really cool. So it really cool way of doing the heel with the self striping. Oh, so you're it doesn't doing the, break it up. Is that the vanilla is the new orange? Vanilla or vanilla is the new black. Something like that. Yeah. And so this is my preferred way of doing uh, socks is the two at a time on a, a magic loop. Mm -hmm. Um Addy turbo needles are my favorite for sock knitting. Um yeah, not much to what say. Size but are those? These are size one. Thank you. These are size one, and yeah, I, I might have, yeah, I might have made the the sock portion a little tall for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, that's the way it more, goes. Yeah, how much yarn do you have? Oh, quite a bit. Yeah, plenty. Oh, might as well make them long because she's in Denver, so it'll get cold. Yeah, plenty. So, so that's yeah. that's my sock whip. I, I always like to have a sock project on the go I haven't worked on these much but I just got back from Wisconsin last week and I they were my good travel knitting mm -mm -mm. sit and talk knitting um have a cocktail with friends or family knitting so it's, socks are perfect for that in my opinion I wear all my socks and how is Wisconsin did you go shopping there at all did you go shopping for any yarn you know there's so much yarn available to them in Wisconsin they're so lucky um but I did not. I only went to one place in Mount Horeb, Wisconsin, called Cat and Crow. So I started my 
uh, my son's girlfriend on knitting when we mm -hmm, were there. Mm -hmm. And so I bought her some Madeline Tosh vintage at Cat and Crow. But there are so many places to go there. I think I need just a yarn vacation just for that. Mm -hmm. um, my sister's going up. Scotland? Oh, is she going? Edinburgh. No. Yes. In March of next year? <laughs> no, she's not going to EYF. Mm. No, she's going in June or July. So well, she, she um, can scope it out for us. She said, yeah, seriously. So she's like, oh, she's like, would you like me to pick up some yarn? I was like, ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to research and see. Oh, she awesome. she found like a yarn store where the woman dyes her own yarn. Uh, she has a whole bunch of other yarn. But I want to get, I want her to get me some yarn that would be, you know. Yeah. Dyed there, made there, whatever. So that would and be I, nice. Yeah. So when I told her if she sees anything she likes, I'll buy it and I'll knit it for her. That's my policy. You buy it, I'll knit it. Oh, that's nice. You're much nicer about that than me. Um, Nobody's taken me up on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway. what else are you working on? Um, what else am I working on? Oh. What sweater project? Do you have? What? I don't have a sweater project yet. <gasps> I know. No. I know. Well, no, well I'm going to do... Um, Wait, so... no, no, no. You can't say. It's in future knitting. Okay. Future if it's not a whip, okay, you can't okay, say okay. it yet. Okay, it's we're not in, in the outline. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I will be doing sweater knitting eventually. <laughs> Soon. Okay, so, but oh, I'm doing... color again. <sighs> Love that like color. Butter. It's um, Plucky Primo Fingering in Dreamy. Oh, my God. Look at this. Hold it up closer because the, the light know. is funky. It's like... I mean, here we... I've got a skein. It's just... Oh, yeah, that's it's gorgeous. so pretty. It's just... It's got, like... The nicest halo, and it's kind of, kind of like pink and cream. Is that is that Bello? Is that the base? No, it's Primo fingering, oh, which is it's, um, it's still gorgeous. What is that? Merino and cashmere. But oh my god, I just love it. So anyway, so I'm doing the Hohe Locatelli Julie's wrap. Hmm. Is that it? Oh, I just looked at that pattern. Oh, the with the bobbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, modern. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, works in progress. Where am I? You're dreamy, merino, plucky fingering. Oh, here we go. Julie's wrap. Yes, down there. Yeah, you were right. Oh, so, that's awesome. That's beautiful. Yeah. So I start. Only thing is, is I have to, I have to measure it and see because I think it's, you know, I always get myself into trouble because I'm like, oh, I don't want the shell to be bigger, and then it ends up being all the way down on my feet because I'm five eleven and and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then it goes all the way down my feet and it makes me look like I'm 12 feet tall. So anyway, so I, I don't know. I might want to make this a little wider, but then there's like this whole band that gets put on it's the outside. It's a big wrap. I just looked at it. It the does other look like a, a big wrap. big wrap. Well, I wish she had the measurements. You know what? Maybe I'll email her or like The measurements aren't there? Well, she's got the measurements, but I wish she had the measurements for the inside portion before you put the outside portion on. Oh, well, you know what I'm well. saying? So I might I might try to communicate with her through Ravelry and ask her because I don't know if this just looks a little bit narrow. Is this going to be this? Yeah. yeah, that's the that's the I wouldn't want width. it bigger but but that's the width of the inside and then you add a border yeah. to it. I think it's good, but you, you know, good? I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, so you that's, could also met um if she doesn't answer, you could message somebody else on Ravelry who's made it. That's true. That's a good ask idea. Ask them to measure it. That's a good idea. So anyway, so that's... And then I'm trying to decide, do I want to do the whole thing in pink or do I want to add... So I had this Bello... What is this color? Metro. And I thought, oh my gosh. Where would you add that? Make the baubles, the, the outside. Mm. Make this. Or maybe just, like, maybe do the the outside border in this and then just the baubles in there. I don't know. I have to see. It depends on if I have enough of this. Mm -hmm. But I just, I don't know. I thought the two of them look so good yeah, together. Pink and gray is kind of classic. Yeah. So, and I just, I wonder what it smells. And this is the color I used on the inside of the Hannah Fettig. I just doubled it up. So, oh, so nice to know. Yeah, this is so nice. So nice to know. So, anyway. So, Beautiful. that's, that's one. Um, so, yeah, those are my only, well, I've got a pair of socks that are work in progress, but... Oh, show them. Are we? 
don't Let's even know see. Shawls. Um, go ahead. You go. So I'm really into getting rid of my stash. Oh, that's not a good way of putting it at all, is it? No. I'm not getting well, rid of. Well, you're getting rid of it so that you can Knitting my in, stash. In, in taking it. pleasure in knitting my stash. Not getting rid of my stash. Because mm. that's really hard. Well, you're enjoying it. your stash, at least. I am. So. Um, so out of my stash, I pulled Miss... Babs Yowza. Oh my gosh, when did you buy that? I bought it in 2016. Oh my gosh. From Stitches West. And oh, that's it's such a Jeanette the, color. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a theme, you'll see. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. It's in the yonder colorway. And I bought two skeins, which is kind of not, well, it could be enough for some sweaters. But did you hand wind this? I did. It was fun. I found it kind of cathartic and relaxing I do you know it. how big those skeins are <laughs> yeah I do <laughs> it was fun it's not necessarily neat but um so sorry I interrupted oh no that's okay <laughs> so I um I wanted to knit my stash oh I knit a sweater out of Miss Babs Yowza and I wasn't entirely thrilled with it's okay Fine. I just it's a little pilly and it's super mm -mm -mm. wash and I don't know. I, I, I like, just don't want to spend the time knitting a sweater out of something that's going to pill that's tomorrow. Gonna pill. But I do have to say, I like her yarn. I think the value is there for the amount of money that... Yeah, I mean, for a shawl, I mean, yes. And I love her colors. Yes, and this color is gorgeous. So yeah. I decided to knit this shawl, the Hoar Frost shawl, by Andrea Mowry. That's going to be pretty. See? That's huge for you. Yes, it is wow. huge for me. But... You know, this is light worsted heavy DK. It's, um, I didn't do a gauge swatch. It's a shawl. Who it's cares? A shawl, yeah. And, um, and I'm 5'2". As long as you like your fabric. Um, so I started on an 8, which is the suggested um, needle, and then I switched mm -hmm. to a 7. So I'm knitting it on a slightly smaller needle, so it'll turn out slightly smaller, and I'm Wait, slightly so you shorter. You started on an 8 and then just mid, mid. Yeah, you mid can't tell the difference. Yeah, no, you can't. You gotta love it when you can do that. You don't have to rip yeah, it Yeah, and it's super soft and That's cushy. Awesome. That's nice. So this is the beginning of the Horfrost shawl knit on Addy Turbo needles. But um, oh, it's, it's really an nice. eight row repeat and I it's not mindless. I, I haven't memorized it yet, so I still have to pay mm. attention, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, um, but I think it's gonna fun. be pretty. Yeah, no, it will be. And I wear my and shawls. And it's a good color for you. Yes, and I wear my yeah. shawls all the time. Are you like doing practically a big one? every day. Are you going to make it that big or are you going to make it Yeah, that big? but it'll be smaller but. than hers because it's it's, you know, the heavy DK light worsted and it's on a smaller needle, so Cuz she costs for an 8. Uh, a worsted weight. Eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't do a gauge swatch. Okay. I just figured not sense. borrow. Oh, no. and I should say that this bag is little skein in the big wool. And I just, I liked the rainbow inclusiveness, inclusivity. Mm -hmm. That's a better word, inclusivity. Um, yeah, and it's probably Where'd got a little dog hair on it. I bought it directly on online from her little skin in the big wool, mm -hmm. and she's up in San Francisco. Do you so, have the same glasses I have? Mm -hmm. That's my shawl project. So I have a sock project and a shawl project and a sweater project. Those are... Yeah, what other rips do you want to talk about? Right now, that's all I have. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about my socks. I don't mm. even know if they're in here. Why? Because I'm not good at knitting. Yeah, see, I don't think they're even in here. Not even in here. Didn't even bring them. So do you have any more whips? No. Okay, so we'll move on to No, my but I will this whip. weekend. Oh, yay. What are you going to... Well, I want future knitting. Well, you I want... Can't. Oh, okay. So tell me when I'm allowed to talk okay. about future knitting. <laughs> uh, the, this is my sweater wide. project, which is Big Love by Ankastruk. I like her patterns. I do, too. I haven't done anything I from do her too. yet, so but Do I you like see that patterns. there's a, a color theme here? <laughs> We've got a green color theme going. Um, this is the right side. And so, let me find the pattern. I have my own uh, iPad, too, if you see. need Not great. Oh, this isn't a great photo. I'm, I'm kind of, it doesn't show the detail. It asks you, or suggested yarn is let lopey, or one of the lopies, lopey something. I don't know, something lopey. Um, and, but it doesn't show the detail. So. What's the detail? Well, the detail is the oh. stitch pattern. Yeah, which is I wonder why gorgeous. She did that black. It really is nice. Yeah, is it um, um, easy to memorize? Yes. 
So it's mm -hmm. been like, so this is actually a more relaxing knit than the, the shawl at this point, but it's been fun to knit. It's just, and it's, it's just slower going um, because I knit a couple rows when I get home from work and that's about it. What yarn is this? I was just about to say. So it's, um, the main yarn is Mirasol Sisa. Does it stink? No, I just like smelling yarn. It's like a book. <laughs> My kids always open books and smell them. I like smelling yarn. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I'm a very... <laughs> okay. I do... <laughs> Editing Fairy Gary? No! I mean, editing Gary? I'm okay with smelling yarn, yarn on podcast. I know, but it's, it's the it's just, hysterics it's that came afterwards. This is a chainette construction yarn. Very mm -hmm. different from what was um, asked or suggested in the pattern. It's in the mossy colorway. Marisol Sisa dog hair. Yeah. And again, I was... Um, I am knitting from Stash and have had this in Stash for four years. I bought it in 2015. What are you going to do with it? When you I don't it? know. And then what's this? This is Shibui Silk Cloud mm -hmm. in the Cove colorway. I can't get over how well they go together. Yeah, and I just decided to, to um, double strand it. And I bought the Shibui Silk Cloud from my local yarn store, which just happens to be two blocks from my work. And it's an awesome local yarn store that I have to give a shout out to uh, Monarch Knitting in Pacific mm. Grove, California. Yep. So this is the, um, this is it. And yeah, I think it When did you start that? Mm, no idea. Time. After stitches, no? Yes, definitely. Because <laughs> so, I still had to finish this and I had to finish Puntia. So, so like beginning of March? Beginning of March. So you've got really far. Yeah, I only have maybe three mm -hmm. more inches on the... Four more inches on the body. I can't and wait then, course, to see sleeves. how this looks on you. It's kind of a yarn eater, but mm. yeah, it's been fun. It's yeah. it's relaxing. It's super soft and cozy. Yeah. So I think I'm going to like the finished product. I like the fabric a lot. And mm -hmm, I'm knitting mm -hmm. it on size seven needles. Um, Knitter's Pride Platina, I think. Mm. It's like their Addy mm -mm, knockoff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So that's, and this is... This bag is courtesy of my dear sweet husband, who will also be doing our, our um, editing. Yes, thank Where'd you. Where'd he get it? Oh, he made he it. That's it. right. I mean, yeah, he made it. He this made is the it. Lining. It has pockets. Is he not the best? He's amazing. I just need to tell him what I want, and he makes it for he's me. Amazing. He waxed fabric, though. The and day. He's, he's going to make me a wax canvas bag. Really? Yeah, he waxed the fabric himself. I know. He likes to wind yarn, too. Yeah, he's right. awesome. He likes his your one. Your Mostly he's awesome. <laughs> Just okay. kidding. All right, are we done with works in progress? Uh, that's I all that I brought. Okay, I have a good. million, but that's all I brought. Usually I can only handle one sweater, one so shawl, one sock, or two socks. That's I'm it. I'm shocked that I don't. Well, I just finished this at like twelve thirty last night. Recording? Do you think it's recording? Yeah, that's what the square things. Okay. We're not recording. Then we pour more drinks and start again. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so. When did you finish that? 12.30 last night. Uh, I mean, Cece had a sleepover, so I had to deep condition their hair. That was part of the sleepover. Did you do the sweater thing. at the same time? No, it was like, okay, wait, let me finish the row. Okay, deep condition the hair. And the nice thing was, is from the conditioner, my hands got nice and soft. Nice. <laughs> so anyway, so I finished it, blocked it, and then celebrated with a scotch. <laughs> And you're hardcore. It. Yeah, and you're it, hardcore on that suit too. Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> I have to say that we weren't going to talk about these, but I, I have to because I'm just so in love with them. So I'm I'm going to skip ahead of season. Oh my gosh, she's skipping out of outline. I'm skipping out of outline. Sorry. You know how crazy this. Movie okay. Made me. So this this. <sighs> okay, <sighs> where are we on our outline? We're, we're no, we're skipping. We're just oh my live, gosh, live big, live big. Oh, we're into, this is Gadgets We Love. Oh, okay. Great gadgets. Okay, versus. There's your one gadget. Product. You get one gadget no, you can talk I about. Two. Okay, okay, two. Okay. This is my gift to you okay, on our per thanks. first podcast oh, that I you. deviate from the outline. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so I bought these at Stitches. I got them at the, um, sorry, I'm doing it right over no, your face. No, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, got them at the Jimmy Beans um, booth at Stitches. Okay. Love these. 
because oh, these little puppies um they I use the cocoa knits um, mat for blocking and these sink right into the mat you're not sitting there messing around with t-pins you're not getting that little scallop edging with the t-pins you just shove these things in oh my gosh and they come in two different sizes so this had me finished blocking in probably 10 minutes sprayed it down shoved these things nice. in blocked it done versus now, the t do you measure the to make sure that you hit the schematic or no sometimes i do sometimes no. i don't i i Depends just kind of thing. i kind of eyeball it to just see does everything look you know even, even. you know but and not at 12 30 at night oh yeah no you probably yeah i probably wouldn't so walking at all these were like I wasn't sure that there would be enough in here and I might still pick up another mm -hmm. set like I might eat might want another set if I'm doing a really big shawl which we know all my shawls have to be really big um but for the sweater they worked yeah and I like this so much better than messing with the blocking wires mm -hmm. and sitting there you know weaving it in and out oh that's very <sighs> tedious <sighs> So I have a set of these. They aren't as pretty as yours. They're just plain mm -hmm. colored. But um, I bought them years ago. Do you remember we went on that? Well, maybe it was with my niece. Yeah, it might have been in Petaluma. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I bought them. So, mm -hmm. Oh, I love them. So I could use two sets. Okay, so I'm going to... You go. You're on the gadget run and you go. Okay, so this is the coolest thing. It's a um, gauge... Gauge swatch, gauge measure thingy. What do you call it? Stitch? Gauge ruler. Gauge ruler. There you go. <laughs> um, it's called the Easy Peasy Gauge. Hang on, I want to get it right because this gal invented it, and they were only selling it in one booth at Stitches. The Easy Peasy Gauge Ruler, um, and we'll put it in the show notes. But it's great because for old eyes like mine, it magnifies. Let me see if I can. Oops. It magnifies your your stitches. Yeah, so, it so much easier to oh my gosh, so much easier. Love, love, love it. Because when I if I don't have my glasses, I can still see what I'm doing. So this is this was awesome. And this met the gal who invented this, and they sold it at um, uh, the Art of Yarn booth at Stitches, and she was West. so sweet. Stitches West. She was so sweet. She was so excited that we liked it. And um, like I said, we'll have it in the show notes where you can um, get a hold of it or investigate more about the product. So anyway. Okay. Okay. What All right, we, what else? What are we moving on to? Um, uh, future knitting. Future knitting. Uh, future yeah. knitting. I, well, I love... Um, Amy from Stranded Dye Works. I've watched her podcast since the beginning, pretty much. And so she has a roller derby along, and the, it's the shorty socks that are Rose City Rollers or Jelly Rolls. And so I'm going to do a Jelly Rolls. Uh, jelly Rolls are cool. They have like a corrugated ribbing heel. I'm, I'm saying heel like you know that that's <laughs> Um So shorty socks, double cuff if you want. Mm -hmm. Um corrugated rib you know we we never said where you could find us on social media okay we have to do that we'll then, then um corrugated ribbing on the heel if you want and then corrugated ribbing in the middle if you want so mm -hmm. that's a paid for pattern jelly rolls by Mara, Mara Catherine Briner mm -hmm. or Rose City Rollers which is a free pattern just a shorty sock pattern heel flap and gusset regular traditional so I'm gonna do a pair of those mm -hmm. in some bright crazy color that I'll wear around the house so mm -hmm. that'll just be fun for her roller That'd derby long and then and then can we get you a pair of those like see-through clogs I would love those so I love clogs your... I'm all about clogs but I have I, I don't have any but clogs are me Gotta get you some see-through clogs see -through, so you can see see-through see tennies see-through no. Kids or something. High heels. High heels, right. <laughs> no. With light up heels. <laughs> that is not me. Okay, I can't find my other one. I brought it. I know I did. Okay, what you go. Pattern? Next. Future knitting. Future knitting. Okay, wait. I'm 
so excited about starting this. But I have to like sit down and focus on it. Um, Hohi Locatelli came out with Jules. The Jules. No, excuse me. That was the other thing. Understated. The understated boxy v-neck. Oh yeah, that's good. I am that's so excited because remember we were at Magpie mm -hmm. and I was like, it's DK. I, I really that stitches. Yeah. What did I say? We said Magpie, but I meant that Magpie oh, booth that yes, stitches. Yes, Magpie yeah. booth that stitches. Um, I love this color. I love this, this color. Is my color. Well, it's kind of grayish green. Yeah. But. I am like so. Okay, so we were there and I fell in love with the color. And it was DK, and I was like, oh, but I don't have a DK sweater. Well, then Hohe answered my prayers. She heard you. She heard me. So I'm going to start this probably this weekend. Oh, fun. I'm That's going to be really so nice. It's excited. beautiful. What yarn did you say this is? It's this beautiful. is Magpie. Oh, it's right here. What else? What kind of is it? Do I have it up there? Is the, oh, there it is. I was looking for that. Unrolled. Just kidding. Uh, swanky. Swanky DK. And it's the Merino Cashmere Nylon. Um, and got it. So Magpie, I've only ever really seen them at Stitches. And the thing that she does with her yarn is she doesn't really say what the gauge is because like she'll say it's DK but she doesn't really kind of commit to a gauge for her yarn because just of course it depends on what needle you knit it on but you can get so many different types of fabrics out of it that she wants everybody to kind of be you know open to trying the yarn and swatching it and seeing the different kind of drape because it's so drapey so drapey I've knit a couple shawls out of her stuff so far and I really and I love the sheen yeah it's gorgeous it's just so pretty so I'm gonna knit the understated and my goal is to start it this weekend yep my goal is to have it done by the time we podcast which is gonna be in no so, time but you know what <laughs> it's it's really great well, to be able to tell my meter. husband I'm I'm so sorry I have to knit I'm, yeah, I'm just, yeah I, I, have I don't have time I have to knit I can't yeah, yeah. can you go I'm gonna tell my work that you know what I you need me right now, but you know that's my work. I need to knit with yeah. the kids. Yeah, it's excuse like I me, tell I need the kids. to knit. Cook for yourself. Excuse me. Figure out. Anyway. Solve your own problems. Seriously. I need to knit. Yeah. 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 You know, or tell them you're knitting the answer. There you go. You or you need. I'll, you, I'll have it. You as you're knitting, you'll right. come up with the answer. Right. You need to find your zen. So anyway, so this is future, like future big project really, sweater. That's awesome. Yeah, really soon in the future. <laughs> Uh, well, I found a my day. pattern that I was looking for. Oh, good. So my future Ooh. knitting is the Leone sweater by Julie Weisenberger. It's not a new pattern. So the story about this is I found it, well, I saw a woman wearing it at Stitches West last oh, year. I and this. I really love the yarn mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. she made it out of. It was, it was like thick and thin. It wasn't smooth. And I loved it. And she looked awesome and so mm -hmm. i asked her about it and said oh you know doing the knitters thing oh i love your sweater oh, the knitter's what handshake. pattern is that <sighs> what pattern is that what did you knit it out of <laughs> yeah yeah and she knitted it out of lang corso and she either worked for church mouse or mm -hmm. has some affiliation with church mouse yarns in bainbridge island washington mm -hmm. and so she said they have it well by the time i think a couple weeks went by after stitches west and i went on their website, it's discontinued. It was discontinued. Right. So I went, oh man, I don't, I don't know what else, what other yarn I want to do mm -hmm. this, knit the sweater out of. So I let it go. So this, uh, this stitches February. Lo and behold, I run into the same woman, and I said, "Oh, I, I love the sweater you're wearing this time, but I remember the sweater you're wearing last year." Was that the woman that? Yes. The, oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. same woman. Yeah, I'm gonna talk and about I, her. In she a minute has great too. taste, mm -hmm. and so I said, "You were wearing this sweater, Leone," and she said, "Oh, yeah," and I said, "Well, but you had it in Lane Corso, and it's discontinued now." And she said, "Oh, but it's great in tacky, 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 hmm. tacky, probably tacky, probably not tacky, tacky ripple." And she said, it's on sale at Webb's. And I went, oh, cool. So I went over there and bought mm -hmm. it at Stitches West. So 
It'll be the Leone sweater by mm -hmm. Julie Weisenberger in the talky ripple. What color did you buy? Oh, it's a remember. dark gray. Gray is tough for me I now that so. I've let my hair go gray, but, yeah, but it's a that dark. Mini's, I love this. Like, mini I know. Mini yeah, I got it for my mother. That's awesome. You know, start because I'm only you know 38 and have this gray hair. <laughs> What's the deal with that? But no, um, anyway. I have gray hair too. Uh, I'm just not showing it right now. <laughs> it's bashful. Yeah, gray's tough. I can't do light grays anymore as much as I like gray. Mm. But I've I've stray Why away you do from. Black? Yeah, this is a dark gray, and I mm -hmm. remember we held it up to my face, right, and many people now. voted, and you yes. voted as well, and so it's so my fault it's if it doesn't look good. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you voted on several of my colors over the years, mm -hmm. which we'll have to tell our knitting, how we knitted, how we met story at some point later. But anyway, yeah. that's, that's future knitting. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for future knitting? Um, yes. Speaking of church mouse. Or dream knitting. Dream knitting. Dream knitting. Shall we call it dream knitting? Uh, we can knitting? call it whatever you want to call it. Okay. Well, we'll figure um, it out. The modern wrapper. That's oh, the church that's mouse the yarn. Same woman. Same that woman. woman. Hang on, let me see if I can. I don't know her, her name, but that woman. I that woman. I sh so she's walking around stitches, and poor Jeanette. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's there goes that that cardigan again. Oh my gosh, I really love that cardigan, and of course it looks fabulous on her because it she's did look fabulous. You on know, her. she's so thin, and she wore it beautifully. She did. So and the, the yarn was also. I mean, it it just was gorgeous. Yes. So. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull Modern that. wrapper mm -hmm. from Church Mouse Yarns yes. is the pattern, which, you know, I had looked at before. I'm familiar with Church Mouse patterns, but, you know, I'm pretty short. And this, this she rocked it. This oh, my gosh. West. Just beautiful. And, and being that you're 5'11", you could also rock it. So 5'2", um, mm, it would need some adjustment. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Because it's really long. It is. Now, the cool thing is, is that, let me know if you see it before I do. The, I don't. Oh, no, wait. Here it is. It's down here. It is not down here. Did you put it in your queue? Mm, I, you know what? I just put everything in love. In your favorites? In my favorites, yes. Anyway, um, running, I just had it, too. You can just search. I could do that. This modern wrapper. Well, or... The three people that are watching this yeah. can all, are yeah. probably also familiar yeah. with Modern Rapper, That's other true. than the non-knitters that we will coerce into watching this Seriously. podcast. Oh, there we go. The beautiful thing about what's this the is difference? you can close. Fine or, oh, okay, got it. Yeah, you can close the front. So it's either, oh, it's going to be blown now. You can either do, see on top, you've got like a cardigan. Which is how she wore it. Which is how she wore it. And then on the bottom, you can close the front and turn it into a tunic. And that's why I Bartender. think Bartender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or I need here. another drink. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> um, so anyway, so Modern Wrapper, that's, I'm going to go to our little yarn shop, Monarch, who's celebrating their sixth year. Yeah, that's yeah. hard to believe. So, sixth year and, tomorrow. And bought it. Yeah, congratulations, Anne. Shout out. Um, so I'm going to go there tomorrow. Does that mean four people will be watching this? Maybe, <laughs> if we're lucky. Um, so I'm going to go tomorrow and pick up the yarn, and I'm going to do it out of Shibui. And I think I'm going to do it in beautiful. cream. Oh, beautiful. That'll be yeah, really I mean, versatile. I'm so excited to knit. Only problem is, is it's going to be like fingering, and it's like and all it's that big. Much. Yes. So yeah. that's where I think I'm going to try to balance it. I'm actually going to probably have, have two sweater projects. I was just going to say, I'm going to have two at a time because that yeah, way I'll yeah. do the DK, which will make me feel like I'm accomplishing yeah, something. Yeah, that's when it's acceptable. Yeah. Then. Well, acceptable listen to yeah. me like i'm the rule writer or something no it's just in my mind one sweater no it's going it's, at a time yeah it's it's my brain can't can wrap handle around around too many whips right. Right. i have a lot right now well sort of anyway well i have the giant scarf that is kind That's of right. hanging out there i'll bring it next time and then this are you waiting, like, for a winning season? To yeah, I was. <laughs> I was. And I think I need to give up and just, I think I should just knit it. But You could change jeans, like, eh. but you've got to pick a good color if you change jeans. Yeah, like, black, orange, gray, and, and ivory. Not so great. But those anyway, those I digress. In now? Is black, orange, gray, and ivory? Yeah, because that's our colors. Oh, I thought it was just black and orange. No, gray and ivory. So you choose, you know, the Cracker Jack scarf. You choose 
okay, I'm going to do it. Uh, gray is away losses and black is away wins. And, oh. You know, kind of like that. So you don't know the next color you're... you're I thought it was just losses and wins. I didn't know that you did it away. No, away and home. home. And, and orange is um, this. And, you know, so right it. now it's a lot of losses. It's looking... It, it's kind of fun. Maybe you should change up the losses and wins for the season. It was fun the first year. That was 2016. So I need to cut my losses and let it go or anyway, but that's a story for another day. Turn it into I a digress. Towel. Anyway, okay. I digress. So I think that's yeah, that's all I have in my queue. Yeah. We did we did I have tons oh, of things well, in my queue, but you know well, what am I really future gonna projects. future knitting future knitting before so. our yeah. So then we segue into knitting gold stars. Knitting gold stars, yes. Yeah. Who are we gonna give the knitting? I'm gold gonna gold give a shout out to my sister Dina. Who is in Tucson and hasn't mm-hmm. knit in I don't know twenty five years? Mm-hmm. And what did she decide to knit? Leone sweater and Shibui vine, the new Shibui yarn, which was not easy. No, so no. props to her. And mm-hmm. then I could go on with my knitting gold stars. All the many podcasters who have inspired yes. me. I mean, really, like. I started knitting socks after the grocery girls. Yes. They inspired me to knit socks. I, I thought, why socks? Like, what's the big deal? I yes. can buy socks. You inspired oh me. Oh, my gosh. You. Oh, my yes. gosh. The socks yes. I knit are so much better, and I knit them for my husband and my daughter and my son. And Well, and my socks aren't that great. I just like the fabric. No, <laughs> I like, they're so I like the cozy. Yarn. So um, cozy. So yeah. much better than, than yeah. um, socks you can buy. And so mm-hmm. they really inspired me, and... I mean, Chevy Rell inspired me to drink when I podcast, <laughs> apparently. Uh, let's see. I thought I was um, responsible for that. Well, that's too. Uh, <laughs> lots of people inspired me to, yeah. to so lots yeah. of lots of gold stars all the way yeah. around. Gold Anne. Who, Anne, yes. Yeah, we'll have to Six tell years. how did we, uh, we should oh, probably talk gosh. about how we, we, when did you start to knit? When did you learn to knit? Oh, I don't remember that far back. <laughs> my mom taught me. Oh. My mom taught me when I was little. She, I think Have I you was taught your girls yet? 12. Um, Cecilia is the only one that has stuck with it. Um, Lucy got frustrated the first time I told her she had a rip back. That was it. She was done. She well, was she, like, she'll I'm, come back to it. I bet they'll all yeah. come back to it. To a Macy, degree. Macy was meh. But Cecilia actually has kept up with it. She's done a couple American Girl doll things and stuff. Oh, cool. So, so that's cool. But yeah, I've been knitting since I was... Oh gosh, like eight or nine. I I was not allowed to sit in front of the TV and just watch TV. I had to have something in my hands. Oh, that's the best way. And I now that. I can't just sit in front yeah, of the no, TV and watch TV. So neither yeah. can I. So. It kills me to sit in a meeting that I'm or a lecture that I'm bored with oh, and have God. to not and not do my knitting. It, yeah. Like, well, and God forbid you should take it out because people think you're being right disrespectful right. or something. Yes, yeah, so at work that's an issue. Like yes. yeah. Yeah, well at work it would be an issue. That's a complete <laughs> <laughs> yes, I worked it. Well, I mean, at work, Excuse there's me. a lot of times Excuse I'm me. in a meeting where I, get, I think, oh, but I'd be paying so much closer attention to the, the, it's true. the Save the Redwoods lecture if I would had my knitting. Sit here but knit. Yeah. I can't knit and listen to Save the Redwoods and have them think I'm paying attention. Well, you, you could. Well, you could. Well, yeah, they, they would think you're not they paying would, attention. Yeah, so. they don't understand knitting. So so when did you the, start knitting? Uh, well, I actually learned to knit when I was around the same age from my aunt, Viola. Who mm-hmm. taught me to knit and crochet, mm-hmm. and she taught me to throw, and mm-hmm. I didn't knit much. And then my dad uh, bought me, a, or no, he made me. Yeah, he made it. This little loom thing with mm-hmm. nails, and I did a lot of, you know, oh, like, well, yeah. it wasn't I cord. The ending oh. wasn't I cord. It oh. was the I cord idea, but it ended up to be like kind of a tube. So I knitted huh. lots of yeah it was it was cool I mean mm-hmm. he had the same idea but it was mm-hmm. just like long more elongated right more elongated I need to do it up here <laughs> so uh, yeah so I always so that was that and mm-hmm. I put it away and then mm-hmm. I did many other crafty things I I sew my own clothes like all kinds of crafty things all these years and then. Um, when my daughter was born, who's now 27, and hopefully she'll watch this till the end. I'm not so sure, but, you know, I get it. And um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, so when she was born, I, one of my mommy and me classmates, she was Dutch, and she knit this other way, and she was so fast. And I was like, oh, that's 
awesome. And she mm. knit her daughter the most beautiful sweater. Just And I was very inspired. Mm -mm -mm. So I went to the local store, which at that time was far away. And I bought some scratchy wool and I bought some pattern because that's all there was. I mean, mm -hmm. it was it was 27 years yeah, ago. They, they, we have come so far. We've yeah. come so far in what we... Yeah, it was... The yarns and the oh access to yarns. There was nothing. And, oh, my gosh. Well, so Mark, Mark I, was like a quarter of the size it is now. Oh, yeah. And that, I so, don't even know if it existed yeah. 27 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I... Um, it was a very, like, knit in pieces pattern. And mm -hmm. it was very, like, more detailed than I needed for a beginner. Mm -hmm. So I started that. I got, like, part of it done and then moved on. Mm -hmm. So fast forward a few years and I did other crafty endeavors mm -hmm. and then I met some women at my child's school, my child who's now 24, and it was like a little knitting group and they got together and they knitted and they did lunch and mm -hmm. so they were really inspiring and mm -hmm. and then I met you and you knitted too. And it no, it just... was all about the gin and tonic I made you. That, was, that was probably it. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was probably it. So <laughs> knit one, sip two. We knew we... Uh, we Jeanette knew had we're... never had a gin and tonic. It's true. You, it's I, true. I, still, I still to this day, I'm like, how could you live That's life true. without and, ever having a gin and, and tonic? And you know, I have a gift for you to honor our Ooh. our first podcast, but unfortunately, I didn't <laughs> yeah. come yet. So it will honor our second podcast. Okay, second podcast. Second podcast. Uh, so that means we, we will do this again. So um, <laughs> At least one more time. <laughs> and I need to stop saying, um, I get it. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> let's see. So then I took some classes and, and I, to the, the woman in a town at a shop that shall remain unnamed she was mm -hmm. like oh the knitting police the knitting police Nazi. let's just yes. say police the shop is closed now yeah which is not about she, she was not she was cranky she was not fond of my knitting style she was, she was not fond of much she was cranky no she's she, very yeah. cranky so she's she cranky. um sold me as much acrylic as i would buy and then i moved on and and then you know i found ravelry in it it became oh, an obsession. Yes. So th since then, I fell down the rabbit hole. Um, Joan invited me to Stitches West, and I thought, oh, I'll just go for the day. And I fell down that rabbit hole, and it's <laughs> yeah. been a it's been a good Gentonics. rabbit hole. That's what Peter comes yeah, from. No, it's been a good day. rabbit hole. No, it's but been it's been fun. fun. It has been, been really fun. It has been. And so yeah, no, it's we we are very very blessed to have um, a fabulous little yarn shop with wonderful supplies and people there that are willing to help and the community that Ravelry has started. Oh my God. Yeah. They, they were written up like in the New York times or something. Yeah. It's an ago. awesome database. So awesome. Yeah. My sister does needlepoint and she's like needle pointers. You guys have, it's we have nothing on you guys. It's the same yeah. with sewing. Yeah. We're you just know? so lucky that, yeah. that there's so much out there with knitting. Yeah. Ravelry so, is awesome and has changed yeah. the knitting world for sure. Yeah. So, so it's my zen. to them. Although people still, like I have some people that make fun of me like, oh, you're knitting. Oh, you I know? get that too. Cause yeah. I wear my knitted things to work. Yeah. So I work at a really cool natural history museum. And so. I wear my knitting things to work all the time, yeah. and and I think people are like, oh, you knit. Yeah. That's so not sciencey. But then I have but, other people that are like, oh, will you knit me something? I don't, I don't, oh, no one ever asked me. Oh, that. oh, see, well, I, they know. I knit they at the just competitions. Get the vibe, like, oh. <laughs> no, I <laughs> don't ask Jeanette. Will I ever yeah. knit you anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, and I don't believe in selfish knitting, by the way, because you, no, you, said you know what? It. I don't do much. I do a lot. I mean, being like no, a mom is my me. first job, and um, you know, I, I'm a photographer and all that. But, but this is one of the few things I do for myself, isn't it? However, I, I will. I have been known to knit for people, and I always me say too. to people, I'm. I'm happy because people will come up to me and they'll say, will you knit me a scarf? Will you knit me? And my response is yes, absolutely. You buy the yarn and it cannot be from an a arts and chain crafts store. Yeah. A chain store. It can't be from an arts and crafts okay, store. Okay. sounds really yarn snobby, but that's okay. No, totally. Oh no, absolutely. If I'm going to knit, I want to enjoy the fabric. Um, but I, I always tell people you buy the fabric or buy the yarn and I, I will make, I'll make it for you. Absolutely. Now I will stop, we'll stop at like, you know, something that's like a big sweater or something, but usually people are pretty reasonable. So, but I haven't had anybody take me up on it yet. Um, I have to knit 
my girlfriend's daughter a baby blanket. She's pregnant, so that's hmm. that's well, gonna be fun. Yeah, I, so baby blankets I and gift knit occasionally, yeah. but you know, it's I, I work a fair amount, mm -hmm. and my job is not is sometimes yeah. kind of stressful. So it's my relaxation, and yeah. and you know, like you told me before, no one says selfish golfing. No, so I don't. This I'm is, not about no. the selfish knitting. No, in that that I don't like that phrase. Yeah. I just use you know I'm knit, knitting for me. There's nothing wrong with that. It's my hobby. So well, I also sew for me, yeah. and uh, I'll I'll and you're sew and knit for. Sewer. Oh, thank oh you. My gosh, beautiful I'll sewer. sew and knit for people that are you know close to deserving. Me. I love and <laughs> and that gives me joy. So, yes, absolutely. Uh, yes. On that note, do we have any? I, I, I should know. also say all the places that you can find us on social media because yeah. I'm sure you're dying do to find us on social media? social media. Do we have social media? Yet? Well, I I mean we have our own social media and then we'll have our together don't social have media. Any social media. Okay, so we need to get you into the 21st century. No, I don't. Mother want to be of Facebook. teenagers. <laughs> no, you don't have to be. Facebook's for old people. Oh, We're okay, not old. okay. Instagram. That's Instagram. 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 Ravelry. Yeah. So what's your Ravelry? Oh, Ravelry and units. So do you have Instagram? Do you do Instagram? Mm, you photographer? You okay? Not yet. Let's get her into the 21st century. <laughs> I am. Don't ask why. Riley K R I L E Y K mm -hmm. on Ravelry. And on Instagram, I'm Nettie Keys, Nettie, N-E-T-T-I-E, Keys, like your car keys, on really? Instagram. You didn't yeah. spell the other way? No. Oh, I that just, was a good idea. Occasionally, there's one. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> and then, Stop. Uh, let's see, then we'll have our own Instagram, well, knit one, sip two, uh -huh. and... Ravelry, I assume we haven't. Figured yeah, we're gonna out start a group. Do what? We're gonna but... start a group, and then, um, yeah, and then, like I said, on Ravelry, I'm units spelled Y U K N I T S. And um, so, hopefully, if you've hung so. with us until the very end, you have family members that I love, <laughs> Amy. We'll Dina. tell you later. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, and the dog has decided that it's time for us. Come here, come here, Coco. She's like, okay, are you guys done yet? So here's my puppy. Oh, hi, baby. She's trying to figure out why are we talking, <laughs> not talking to her. <laughs> so, so hopefully you can find us on social media. We hope to get to know you because this yes. is what this is about. Just expanding so the community. So much fun. Um, and hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully I, we can I'm share. I'm not even sure that helpful. I just well, think... you know, it's fun to share information and. Share information, and I get inspired by other people's yeah. knitting. Just like, oh, I hadn't thought of that pattern. Right. And so that, and then you know the gauges, the the gadgets, the gauges, the gauges, gadgets. which are the gadgets, the gadgets, which I find so helpful. That you know, I mean, this this is the great thing about these podcasts is, is that it makes our community tighter and smaller. And, yeah. Yeah, you can kind of share information. I love oh, sharing I've information so much. Yeah. And, yeah, and putting the word out there about other people that are trying to start up businesses or you know trying yeah. to help out. So I would never have tried uh, knitting knitted socks without the grocery girls. No, so. it's true. Love the grocery girls. Hats off to them. That's my lots of great star. podcasters. Love so our grocery girls. Okay. So. Any other chit chat? Anything you've been doing it. this week? Okay. I'm back from my Wisconsin trip. Oh, I should also say that we live in the Monterey Bay area of mm -hmm. California. It's mm -hmm. a really beautiful area. I live in Pacific, or I don't live there. I work in Pacific Grove, which is two blocks from my local yarn shop, mm -hmm. Monarch Knitting. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully our wonderful editor, my husband, will put some footage of Pacific Grove and close. Uh, other nearby places. He put the, the museum in there. He could. He could put the museum in there. <laughs> but really, I mean, I work two blocks from the ocean, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It this is. week was We're gorgeous. So yeah. you know, why not see some beauty? There's the the world is filled with enough not beauty that yes. we should bring beauty. No, so that's true. That's, true. that's my goal. Yes. So, so and I work from home a lot. So photographer, lucky for you. I'm really lucky. Yes. All right. So. Until next time. Bye. Hope to see you soon. Happy knitting. Hope you liked it. Bye. Bye.